My name is Paolo Tosolini, and in today's video, I'm going to share some techniques to add a 3D dollhouse effect to your 360 virtual tours. What is a dollhouse? If you have experienced a Matterport 3D virtual tour, you probably enjoy the cutaway view of the entire space. You can rotate the model at any angle and get a sense of the full layout. This particular feature is not easy to replicate. Usually, you need a camera with depth sensors to capture the 3D information. But new services are emerging, filling the gap between 360 photos and 3D models. What if you want to add a dollhouse to tours created in apps like 3D Vista, SeekBeak, Pano2VR, and others? Here is my first tip, and it involves the latest iPhone 12 Pro. These new phones feature a LiDAR sensor capable of recording 3D information. There are several great apps on the iOS App Store that take advantage of the LiDAR scanner. One of my favorites is Polycam. Here is what it looks like 3D scanning a kitchen. Once you process the model, make sure to share it through the Polycam website. There you will have the option to get an embed code that you can drop into your virtual tour hotspots. The resolutions of the model cannot match the quality of a Matterport dollhouse. However, it is a good start. My second tip is about leveraging Sketchfab as the hosting service for your 3D models. The dollhouse effect requires you to set the faces rendering to single-sided in order to see through the walls. This feature worked best for me when I used the Scaniverse app. Once ready, just grab the embed code and plug it into your virtual tour. And now my last tip. This is a virtual tour on a proprietary premium platform that I want to move away from. I was able to download the 360s and recreate the walkthrough in 3D Vista. But what about the dollhouse? Using the screen capture tool Snagit, I saved 45 different snapshots of the original dollhouse. Then I recreated the spinning effect using another utility called Object2VR. This software takes a series of images of an object from different angles and creates interactive 360 product photos. This technique works also with videos. You can use the VLC media player to extract a sequence of frames from an animation and ingest them into object to VR for an original dollhouse experience. I hope you enjoyed these explorations. You can find many more prototypes and mashups on my YouTube channel. Ciao.